is turning into a much larger issue here. This is all very soft. This is all very pliable. So it definitely needs to be repaired. It was just filled with something. So this is this is gonna be a little bigger than I thought. That's all right. This is looking pretty cool. Um, not exactly sure how I want to fill this. It's designed to be bolt in, but I don't really love some of these gaps that we're getting on this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do like a panel bond, stick that on there. I don't know if I'm going to weld that. I haven't decided yet, but that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to get this entire thing cleaned up, get all this wiring out, and get probably get a fresh coat of paint on this and we'll go from there.
and it's three months. Shop, baby. Well, there you go. That is the heater core delete. Uh, still obviously some finish work to do on the filler on this side, which is a somewhat common theme. I ran out of the, I have the fiberglass kind, but I don't have the, the professional gold one that I like to use as my top coat because that fills in. All these little sections really, really good. Um, the fiberglass just doesn't really seem to want to get into those little sections. So um, I ordered it, Amazon, quarantine, all that so it's been taking a little while longer than um i would like but that's okay so what we're going to do next we are pretty much done with the bodywork on the visual portion of the cab what we need to do is get it to lay on its back and clean up the entire underside of the floor and get the new cab supports welded in so i am going to start brainstorming how to do that uh, but in the meantime thank you guys for watching we'll see you later